Okay, here I want to show you some of the choices you have for drywall corners, inside and outside corners, and edging when you put drywall up against wood or metal. These are some of the choices. There are a lot more than this, but these are some of the main choices that, that work. And uh, pretty much any hardware store has these, and if they don't, they can order in whatever you may choose. Okay, first of all, these are called J-Trim. Now this first one here is a white PVC. And this looks like a half inch J trim. Now you have to be very careful and understand what size uh, and type of drywall you're using. Because these profiles, most all these profiles can come in half inch or, or five eighths inch chip rock. And you have to know the difference. This is a half inch profile for a PVC plastic J trim. And this one is a five eighths uh, J trim and it's uh, aluminum. And this is a galvanized edging trim. For chip rock. So this would go in behind your chip rock, nail on the on your stud or on the wood, and then your chip rock would butt into it, and then another surface like a tile could butt into your chip rock here. Very, very useful. These are some popular ones that I use a lot. This is what you call what we call this is a one-inch radius bowl nose. And this is a 90 degree for a 90 degree corner. And this is a 90 degree corner, but this is what they call a three-quarter inch radius bowl nose. And these are very user-friendly. These I, I like these. This is a 90 degree corner, but it's a metal corner bead. And these are usually put on with ring nails or uh, professionals. We, we used to use a crimping tool like a flooring. When you hit it with a hammer, it crimps both sides at the same time. This is a paper, 90 degree paper. And uh, inside has a little metal rim on the inside. And this, you have to, you have to know what you're doing with filler. That you need to have uh, full filler in behind both sides and it needs to be very even and creamy. If not, you can get bubbles in the paper and if it's too dry, the corner bead will not stick as good as it should. This is another 90 degree corner, but this is a real trendy one. It's got a 45 degree angle on it and a lot of new designs now, a lot of corners and houses and, and new construction and a lot of recessed windows and shelving and so on and so forth. This is great style for there. And now we're into 135 degree angles, so this is like a 45 degree wall that comes and meets another wall. And this is an outside, 135 degree angle outside. This is an inside paper, this is a different style. Here again you have a little bit of metal on the back so it helps you to get a, a nice straight line up in your corner. I usually use a laser. And then nice creamy filler. You have to here again. You got the, the mud has to go on first, and then the paper corner bead goes on top of that. And then you have to you have to ream, skim it out. But it has to be very even and nice and creamy, like a mayonnaise. Here again, this is a metal J, or uh, sorry, metal 135 degree outside corner, and this would be applied with the nails, uh, ring nails, usually what I use. So these are the different styles. A lot of choices here. J trim, they can be uh, sta this uh, the plastic uh, PVC can be stapled, nailed, or glued. Uh, aluminum galvanized like this uh, can be usually nailed or glued with construction adhesive. The metal ones with the holes usually use ring nails, and the PVC I'm going to show you here after uh, we apply with a spray on adhesive and staples and and nails usually staples and spray on adhesive the metal ones you have to use ring nails or a crimper tool the paper one you have to use filler just filler and then here again the PVC paper one you have to fill behind and the metal one ring nails for the 135 the crimper doesn't work too good on 135 degree angle it's usually 90 degree angle so here again different choices. Now most all hardware stores would have these choices and many others. There's a lot of others. There's a company called uh, Trimline, I, I believe is the name of the company, and they have an amazing line of different finishes for all different architectural uh, profiles and stuff. A lot of choices. So, and if you have any questions down below, put a comment, uh, subscribe to my videos. Uh, I would gladly answer any and all questions that you have. Uh, keep watching this video. I'm going to show you how I apply the bull nose, which we use mostly. Okay, so I'm going to be demonstrating here and showing how to put a 90 degree bull nose corner bead on. This is for a 90 degree corner, and this is what we call a one inch radius bull nose. And this is a PVC, white PVC, very uh, flexible and durable too. We like to use these. I don't know if you can see with the camera, but uh, what I like to do is start off with a laser level. Get a nice uh, line there, you see the green line here? You uh, 
cut your corner bead to length. It doesn't have to be tight, tight, tight to the floor because you usually have a subfloor tiling or carpet. So you can uh, measure your corner bead about a quarter inch slack of your height, of, uh, your ceiling to floor height. And then what I like to do is get the corner bead on there, make sure it's nice and straight. A pencil and mark the edges. And now you get your is a spray adhesive. This is a 3M Super 77 multi-purpose adhesive. Spray the inside lip of the corner bead, both edges. Now, very carefully, make sure you get started on the right foot here and, and on your marks, because this stuff sometimes can set up very quickly. Very solid. Ready for bonding. And what I call it is pre-bed or pre-bonding and we use um, Durban 90 and it's got like a high density. You don't use pre-mix filler on a corner bead because some areas can get quite thick. And I like to use a 8 or 10 inch wide. There's our corner, bonded. Tomorrow we'll give it a little scrape down. We'll rub with a sanding block. This uh, seam's already been bonded and double coated. Ninety degree corner with a one inch radius bowl nose. Okay, so here's the drywall corner. And on this one here, we used the galvanized edging and we nailed the uh, edging to the drywall here. And then uh, the, the metal edge comes around the corner. And this wall here will be tiled. And I'll show you a picture of a finished product here in the, after this. And then on this uh, corner here, this is going to be painted to the, to the tile. And this is a uh, one inch radius bull nose. And then likewise, Here's a little recess in the wall. We're going to, uh, it's going to be a TV in here. And this is a three quarter inch uh, bull nose radius. And this will be the TV set in here in the control box, the cable changer box here. So here, here's an application for a three quarter inch bull nose radius. This is the rock, like I showed you. And there's the tile coming out underneath the glass. And we put a, uh, a finished molding here on the edge of the tile. But this is a rock trim underneath here and came around to the one inch radius bull nose. So that gives you an idea of how it's finished. Round bull nose and a square edge for your tile and your glass to meet.